Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to control your Xbox One with the Google Home Assistant, which means you can do it from your cell phone or a Google Home device. Now, if you wanna see the written instructions on how to get this done, be sure to check out my website. There's a link in the video description. So before we continue any further, um, do make sure please that your Xbox One is fully updated with the latest operating system updates. Otherwise, these things that you see in this video will be different for you. In particular, the items we'll be going through in the settings menu to get the service connected. The other thing to keep in mind is that it's possible that in some regions, depending on which country you live in, this feature might not be available, okay? So just keep that in mind. So with that said, what I'm gonna do is on any screen on your Xbox, just hit the uh, Xbox button on your controller to bring in the pop-up menu. And then we're gonna navigate to the far right and then to settings. And then from here on the left side, you wanna scroll down to device and connections. And then here, you want to scroll to Digital Assistance. I already have this finished, but uh, basically the, the part that I have highlighted right now, you see, Enable Digital Assistance must have a check. But there's one more thing we want to do before we continue any further. So on the left, go back up to General, and then Sleep Mode and Startup. And then here, uh, in Sleep Mode, you want to ensure that it's set to Standby. What that basically means is that the console won't actually turn off fully whenever you power it down. It'll go into a standby mode, which consumes a bit more electricity, but at least it's available to listen to commands to wake up and power on fully um, from Google Assistant commands, okay? So if you don't fully operate your operating system, all these settings menu might be different from what I'm demonstrating. What I want to do is go over to your smartphone device and make sure you have the Google Home app installed. So from the Google Home app, there's two ways to get this set up. I'm going to show you both ways because the Google Home app is, is terrible. Google has done a god-awful job of the organization and the interface, so... Let's show you two ways to get this done. So one is to hit the microphone button at the bottom of the app and then simply say, set up my device. And then from here you can continue on. The other option is a bit more manual, but you hit at the top left of the corner of the screen, the plus icon, which again, this might be different if Google updates the app in the future, because they're known to change interfaces like crazy, making things confusing. And then set up device at the top. And then from this screen, there's two options, a new device and works with Google. Uh, here you're going to select works with Google and it's going to basically select a kind of a, a template skill if you will and search Xbox at the top and then tap on Xbox. So from here you're going to be forced to sign into your Microsoft account which is completely fine. Go ahead and accept any prompts. Uh, there's, there's no confidential data being sent to Google Assistant um, but make sure that when you sign in with your Microsoft account it's the same account signed in to your Xbox One console. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay so I had multiple issues when trying to link my Microsoft account to the Google Home app. I think the reason it has to do something with the Microsoft Authenticator app because my Microsoft account does not use a password. Uh, if you're not sure how that works, you should Google it, it's pretty cool. Basically, I don't have a password on my Microsoft account. I use the Authenticator app to just approve acceptance of uh, linking of services, yes or no. Um, so after trying it multiple times, it just kept going in a never ending cycle. It didn't do anything. I had to reboot my phone to get it to work. And finally, when it worked, it went back to the home app with a setup screen, which did nothing. So I went back to this main screen here, and if I scroll all the way to the bottom, then finally I see my Xbox here, but it's not linked to a room. So I'm just gonna tap on it now. And it's gonna tie it to a room. This is completely optional, you don't have to do this, but the option is there. But basically, let's try giving it a test. Turn off Xbox. All right, turning off Xbox. Turn on Xbox. Sure, turning Xbox on. Open Netflix on Xbox. Okay, launching Netflix on Xbox. So even though out of all the virtual assistants, Google Assistant is my favorite, typical that uh, there's a bit of a challenge to set up the Google services, but it can be done. So that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.